More than 200 health jobs, including frontline staff, will be slashed as the Weatherall government closes beds in a bid to rein in recurrent spending. It comes as one minister was forced to justify his travel expenses. Russell Wortley's recent ministerial trip to Europe cost taxpayers $47,000. He insists it's a worthy investment. There will be people out there who are suffering cuts. Uh, there will be people out there feeling that uh, it was inappropriate. But once again, uh, ministers need to travel. He briefed Cabinet on the trip today. And they were very satisfied with my, uh, with my briefing. But his colleagues weren't lining up to endorse it. Did you think that seemed an excessive amount for a ministerial trip? Look, uh, I, they're, they're questions for Russell. His wife and son paid their own way. We spent very little time together uh, because of uh, my responsibilities, but we did cross paths, of course, of course we did. Well, it is particularly poor timing, I would suggest, when in fact the government is telling everyone we've got to tighten our belts because of lack of uh, funding. There's never a good time to travel. Especially poor timing, though, on the day the Health Minister confirmed a raft of cuts as his department struggles to meet its savings targets. I'm pleased with the progress. Uh, Treasury obviously would want us to do faster and harder. But... The cuts flagged in July will see 114 hospital beds removed with patients sent home more quickly. That does reduce the level of staff you need. 249 full-time jobs will be lost with another 100 to be targeted during the next enterprise bargaining period. Revenues are down so it affects everybody. Well, almost everybody. Tom Richardson, 9 News.